Hello guys, I'm making this video to complete a video that I made regarding HGA submission. I made a video submitting HGA cards to HGA and this is the box that was, I'm not sure how long it took, a month, a couple of months, but the video I posted was a month ago. Anyway, let's open up this box for our HGA review. And let's see what grade we got. I hope this, uh, I hope my cards are not beat up because this box is beat up. Man, you guys need to take care of the packages, postal system. Here it is, guys. Okay, this is the 37 card that I submitted um, from a month ago. So the link is either below or also I'll put it here on top to see, um, you know, the beginning of this, how um, I submitted it. But you know what? I put it in the same order as how I introduced it in that video. But I took these uh, vertical slab out of order because I want to feature this first. Um, anyway, HGA has custom labels, as you probably already know. But for the people who don't know, HGA is hybrid grading approach. It's a grading company that does custom label. And they also do horizontal slab as opposed to, you know, a cars like this. So uh, some cars are horizontal, so they do horizontal slab. So here's the comparison. trying to get away from that light you know how there that's basically horizontally but anyway I want to um, show you guys my three horizontal one I didn't turn in a lot of these horizontal cars I got my max first stop in car graded 9.5 I guess you could see what they are but it's no big deal 9.5 because we're doing HGA reveal but some of them are already revealed. <laughs> nice card horizontal. It's a refractor. Nice. And my other um, horizontal is the team for Brandon Ingram and the rest of the team. Um, it's not a rookie card of Zion. As I mentioned in my first video, I just like this card, especially it being horizontal. And basically, I'm also featuring these labels that when I mention um, custom label, HGA has a new um, labels where it's already pre-made. They're called Premier Label. And it's a little bit cheaper than custom labels. So these are it. You get to pick them. Um, you know, matching your card, whatever you want to pick, the design, the colors to match your card. So the third one here is by a Lori Markin and Rookie. Um, if you go closer, I guess these lights really don't work that well. Um, but you can see there's designs in there. I put, I chose a Chicago design, Chicago uh, background. There you go. Uh, Chicago skyscraper design. Anyway, this is a Lori Markin and Graffiti rookie card. And I got a 9.5. This one's a 9.52. And the first one was a 9.5. So there it is. Those are the horizontal. So in order, so this is the order of how I introduced it on the first video. The Kawhi Leonard got a 9.5 on my uh, Mosaic Swagger card, green, yellow. Um, no, not numbered. Happy for that. I collect uh, Kawhi Leonard cars for my PC. I turn in uh, some Kobe Bryant and expectedly, I'm expecting to get Kobe Bryant as a lower grade because they're old and and they're not like well taken care of like the other, uh, like the new cars right now. 8.5 on a 2006 Kobe Woman Chrome. I also put a HGA sticker there because when I opened the box, they gave me a sticker. So I just got that from the box. So 
Another Kobe, a 9.0. I'm happy for that. 1999. Kobe, Dubs Stadium. What is it? Stadium Club. Okay, these two are the two Jamorant rookies. Both of them are hollow. And the labels, I kind of try to make them match. One is blue and one is kind of yellow. Yellow orangey. And then the other one's light blue. But they're beautiful card. And I got a 10 on this one. Ooh, nice. It's it's really hard to get a 10. You gotta get um, two 10s and, and two 9.5s to even average to a 10. Anyways, both of these are high grade, so of course, especially the 10. Let's see. I think one Michael Jordan card that I turn in is this one. The Upper Deck UD3 9.0. Also, Michael Jordan cards are hard to grade. But it has a hologram right there. Hard to see for you guys right now. But there it is. Uh, this is for my friend, Paolo Banchero. I turn in some cards for my friend, for my friends who wants to um, submit their cards through me. Uh, Revolution Supernova rookie card, Paolo Banchero 9.5. Nice grade also. And also his car, Damon Lillard Elephant print wow this is ssp let's go closer um guys these are the example or an example of a custom label so this is not premier label meaning pre um design labels but it's a unique one that um, they design per your requests so that's a nice one nice grade too on an ssp card these are more common, but uh, my friend turned it in because of the art. You want to take advantage of HGA's uh, custom label. So that's a custom label again. Not a pre-designed label under the Premier label. And this card got a 10. This is for my friend. Very nice card. You could describe on the website and give suggestion on how you want the design. To be and this card is for my friend it's a baseball card I don't even know who he is El De La Cruz I guess he's a good player but got a good grade also okay moving on this these are my cards from now on um, Jamal Murray rookie of camouflage uh, Excalibur Ooh, I like it nice Not numbered or anything. Uh, my Kawhi Leonard for my PC. I chose a premier label um, of the LA palm trees and in, in kind of pinkish color. I know this is number 250. Wow. So there's 50 pink of these um, fast break or disco design of Prism. Okay, here are some Monopoly. I noticed that my Monopoly cards have graded well. Um, and B got a pristine, or what do they call this? Flawless. Uh, flawless 10. I think the others, did they call the others pristine? I'm, I'm not sure. But this is what they call, HGA calls it the flawless, which means all subgrades are 10. So it's uh, uh, 10, 10 four times. Quadruple 10 on all categories and they they use that label for all their flawless and this is a numbered card up to 500 sorry guys for the light I'm trying to avoid it that's the Monopoly card from the Monopoly box a lot of my Monopoly cards got graded well I guess they come really nice Especially corners and I'm sure the centering uh, helps a lot. They were cut well. I got a 10 on that one. Pristine, huh? there, they called that pristine. Uh, that means it didn't, it, it's not a flawless, it didn't get all four 10s. This one got three 10s. This is also a gold shimmer, so it's out of 500. Clay Thompson. I got a Lori Markinen, not a rookie card, but it's an SSP. But we don't call it SSP, we just call it numbered. This is 
numbered up to four. So this is three out of four of this, um, what is this? Crown Royale, a crystal, oh, fresh off the line, black, because of the, the, the borders are black, so they call that black. But there's only four of these. So that's very rare. That's a nice grade, 9.5. This one, another 9.5. Um, only my Kobe's got lower grades, but I, I think the rest had received good grades. Uh, Lamelo Ball, uh, rookie card, 9.5. Nice. Not numbered, but it's a rookie card. I like the the label that I choose for that, the color of it. There. I chose that label. That's a that's a pre-made label under the Premier label. I think the rest of these will be premier label um, option. The Andre Fox or the Aaron Fox 9.5, a rookie card. Nice. This these cards are not expensive, but I wanted to at least get a the Aaron Fox um, submitted so I could have a graded a graded one uh, for my own. Keegan Murray, upcoming guys that uh, hopefully they do well in the future years. Uh, this is a um, Monopoly card. I chose black and purple because when you move the, move these cards around there, you'll see the purple borders and pur purple shading. A 10. Wow. Nice. Let's put that right there. It's a nice one. Ooh, another 10. LeBron James, another Monopoly card, Prism Monopoly. Uh, this is a free parking. They call that free parking because of that pattern right there. Another free parking pattern of the Joker, MVP. There you go, and World Champ, but a 9.5, not a 10. But that's still a high grade, not easy to get. 9.5 and for sure not easy to get a 10. Uh, we got Anthony Edwards, rookie. This is the pink version of the marquee. Rookie card, ooh, nice, 9.5. Not, e not, not an easy card to grade 9.5 or to get 9.5. Here's another Monopoly, got a 10. So I'm getting, uh, I noticed that I got good grades on the Monopoly, so it really cut well. Um, the factory cut these cards well on the Monopoly Prism. This is uh, another Gold Shimmer, another uh, numbered out of 500. And besides being centered, you know, you gotta consider the corner and the edges and the surface um, to be high numbers so that you could average a 10. Okay, what do we got here? Paolo Banchero acetate card. It's the see-through card. Uh, not, not much of a high grade. There's about a couple of, uh, or three of them are 8.5s, but the average nine. That that 10 saved me right there, or else it would have been an 8.5. Wow. But it's okay. This is a rookie card. I'll take a nine. Nice label, nice card. I love acetate cards. Um, they're not common at all. Okay, another Lori Markinen. Uh, this is not from a box. This is from the Nationals or from a pack. So that's a Panini Nationals rookie. Is this numbered? Not numbered, but I got a 10. Wow, nice label. Matching the card. Wow, that's a nice one. Like this one. Oh, it is numbered right there. I just couldn't see it out of 399. Thank you guys for joining uh, to watch this uh, HGA review. Uh, enjoy showing them to you and hopefully you, you guys are enjoying watching this. Next one is Jalen Williams, 9.5. Um, well, we're not getting tired of getting high grades. So I'm not um, I'm happy to get that. Uh, what is this? A Prism Rookie Insert, Instant Impact. Excuse the light, man. I don't know how to, I'll just, Show them in an angle like this. Here's a, a red marquee or a hollow marquee of an, an Fernie Simons a rookie card. Wow, nice. 9.5. Nice. 
Nice one. Nice uh, label to match the card. Another label matching the card. A rookie of Benedict Matherin of the Indiana Pacers. A uh, rookie. This is uh, a numbered one. It's uh, called the Impact um, Design out of 149. Some of these are numbered, but I just didn't turn them around. But too late to show you now. Keegan Murray, another Keegan Murray of same player right there. This is uh, this is the rated rookie. Optic Hollow of Basketball Design 9.5. Nice. Of course, rated rookie automatically means it's a rookie. A few more, we'll be done. Oh, the last six, uh, as if you've seen the, the video I was uh, showing you, these came from a um, cars that are graded already from a lower company who's not that famous. So I don't know uh, what company that is. And I wanted to switch them to this, uh, to HGA slabbing. So we don't know, we have no control of the condition. So I just kind of sent submitted it blindly. Some of them we got nine, some of them we got eight. I'll take them. They're old cards. They're actually 1997 uh, Kobe cards. And most of them are gold plated. So here's one. Got a nine on 1997 Kobe card. Skybox. That's what? The EX 2000. They're gold plated. Uh, lower one, I got a uh, lower grade, I got an eight. This one's a skybox again. Still a nice card. So I chose all these labels as a, a pre-designed labels. I didn't do any custom labels. I just really wanted to try how the, the premier label looks. And here's another gold plated one. It's black. So I chose a, a darker background with a yellow to match the gold. Got a nine. I like a nine. Eight. Oh, another nine. I like a nine better than an eight on a blue background. And I chose a blue labeling. And oh, another nine. I thought I got another eight somewhere. Oh, I only got one eight. All of them were nines. A nine again. Again, I didn't get to examine the cards thoroughly on how the surfaces or um corners or um, edges I just submitted it without me um, examining them because all these cars that I sent I look at them first I just want to mention that I look at them first thoroughly and and I really pick the good cards before I send them so of course I don't want to waste money on grading a bad card or a bad condition card so you know that's why you see an, a 10 a 9.5 9.5 I look at them first Basically, I examine the corners, the edges, the centering, and then you tilt it and you examine the surface by shining a light on this side to see if there's any blemishes, scratches, imperfections. And if I see something and uh, I know it's going to lower the grade, I would just put them aside. I wouldn't send them. But sometimes you really want a card to be graded because you're just a fan of that card or, or the player. So you just want to send them. So maybe you will send them if you want to. It doesn't, it's, it's, it's up to you. It's your card. Anyway, so here it is, guys. Featuring the, the premier labels of HGA and their um, horizontal slabs. They're the only company who does the horizontal. Some company, smaller company does custom labels now, but nothing compares compares to to their late uh, to their labels or art. So that's the difference between HGA grading, you know, comparing it to PSA, a BGS, which is Beckett or SGC. Um, there are other companies out there, and it's your choice where to send them. Anyway, Max Verstappen is on a, on his way to what, third or fourth in a row uh, of being a champion? <laughs> I lost track, third or fourth, but he's on a roll. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching.
and if you like this video hit like and if you want to subscribe please subscribe it'll help me out and there you go just want to say goodbye now